Welcome to the fifth episode of Unveiling the Darkness, Moses Sithole. Please help us grow by subscribing to our channel Thread Tonic. Moses Seathole's emergence as one of South Africa's most notorious serial killers was not merely a product of circumstance, but a culmination of a life steeped in hardship and turmoil. Born into the tumultuous landscape of apartheid-era South Africa, Sithole's childhood was a crucible of deprivation and despair, where the oppressive weight of systemic injustice bore down upon him from the moment he drew his first breath. Growing up amidst the squalor and violence of the township, Sithole was exposed to the raw brutality of life under apartheid. The daily struggles for survival, compounded by the pervasive sense of hopelessness that permeated his surroundings, served as fertile ground for the seeds of resentment and anger to take root within his young mind. As Sithole navigated the treacherous terrain of adolescence, he found himself increasingly drawn to the darker recesses of human existence. His fascination with violence and power, born from a lifetime of witnessing the unchecked aggression of those in positions of authority, blossomed into a morbid obsession that consumed his every thought and action. By the time Sithole reached adulthood, the die had been cast, and he embarked on a path of destruction that would forever stain the fabric of South African society. His victims, mostly young women from impoverished backgrounds, became pawns in his twisted game of dominance and control, their lives snuffed out in a haze of violence and terror. Moses Sithole's victims, tragically numerous and diverse, each had a story that spoke to the societal challenges and personal struggles faced by many in South Africa during Sithole's reign of terror. Among them was Agnes Mbuli, a 29-year-old single mother who vanished on February 12, 1995, leaving her family distraught and desperate for answers. Agnes, like so many of Sithole's victims, had been lured by promises of a job opportunity, only to fall prey to Sithole's cruel intentions. The toll of Sithole's reign of terror was staggering, with the bodies of his victims scattered across the South African landscape like so many discarded toys. Over the span of just two years, from 1994 to 1995, he claimed the lives of at least 38 innocent women, each death a testament to the depths of his depravity. One of the victims, Hlengiwe Nena, a 22-year-old college student, disappeared on June 5, 1994, while on her way home from class. Her dreams of pursuing higher education and breaking free from the cycle of poverty were brutally cut short by Sithol's callous actions. Despite her youth and aspirations, Lengiwi became yet another casualty of Sithole's insatiable appetite for violence. The list of Sithole's victims goes on, each name representing a life cut short and a family left shattered by grief. Thandiwe Malanga, a 25-year-old waitress, went missing on September 18, 1994, after accepting what she believed to be a lucrative job offer from Sithole. Her disappearance sent shockwaves through her community as friends and family grappled with the sudden and inexplicable loss. These are just a few examples of the countless women who fell victim to Sithole's reign of terror, their names forever etched into the tragic tapestry of South African history. Their stories serve as a sobering reminder of the dangers faced by vulnerable members of Sashidi and the urgent need for greater protection and support for those most at risk. Sithole's methodical approach to murder was as chilling as it was calculated, he would prey upon the most vulnerable members of society, luring them with false promises of employment or assistance before subjecting them to unspeakable acts of cruelty and degradation. Each murder was meticulously planned and executed, leaving no room for error or remorse. But even as fear gripped the nation, Sithole remained elusive, his cunning and intelligence allowing him to evade capture time and time again. It was not until one survivor managed to escape his clutches and provide crucial information to the authorities that the tide began to turn, leading to his eventual capture and conviction. As South Africa reflects on the chilling legacy of Moses Sithole, may the memory of his victims serve as a stark reminder of the fragility of human life and the ever-present threat of evil that lurks within us all. 
and may we never forget the lessons learned from this dark chapter in our history, lest we allow such horrors to be repeated in the future.